Hi everyone, um, it's me, Mr. Lynch. I am just here to kind of share some insight on why you should take AP government next year. Um, I was lucky enough to take this course a few years ago when I was a student here at Reed um, with Ms. Williamson and I have lots of insights on, again, why I think you should sign up for the course if you're interested. Um, first off, the course will help you become an informed citizen. You'll learn all about um, the government and how it works and how it functions and also kind of the role you can play in um, fighting for what you believe in and having your voice um, and really speaking your truth and um, having that knowledge to fall back on. Um, AP government also really helped prepare me for college level work. Um, I was lucky enough to attend the University of Nevada, Reno um, the following year after graduating. And AP government is really the class that helped me um, really prepare for college and kind of get me on that track for success. Um, and lastly, it's just fun. Um, you learn about really interesting things. And after leaving this class, you're gonna watch the news or hear things online and you'll be able to say, hey, I kind of have that information down and I know what that means now. Um, so again, if you're thinking about it, please, please, please sign up, take AP government. You'll enjoy it um, and you'll learn a lot. Hi, my name is Maddie. I'm just gonna talk to you about um, when you sign up for honors and advanced classes next year. Um, obviously, honors and advanced classes are a little bit more rigorous than your entry level classes. But for me, they made a huge impact on my academic performance. Um, for example, you do have more homework um, and it's a little bit harder to keep up. But if you like the push, then I would definitely recommend it. Um, I took honor to, honors and advanced classes because I don't play any sports in school. And so in order to achieve what I wanted academically, I decided to take advanced classes. And throughout my four years of high school, I've maintained 4.0 GPA, taking honors and advanced AP classes um, almost every single year. And I'm just here to tell you that it's doable. If you push yourself, you it's not too hard. You'll be able to do it. Um, in World Geography, I took honors World Geography with Miss Williamson, and I was pleasantly surprised on how well um, I understood her materials and how well I was able to keep up in that honors class. Um, it's nothing too crazy, and I think you would be able to do it if you really put your mind to it. Hi, Mrs. Matherly. I'm Mr. Brown. Uh, we're just here to talk to you guys uh, a little bit about some of our boutique English classes. So I teach mythology and science fiction. I teach Shakespeare and film studies. And one of the reasons you may want to take one of these two courses is because it's not your average English class. So mythology and science fiction is a year-long course, but it is broken into semesters. Mythology takes up one semester, science fiction takes up another. And uh, we get to explore things a little bit uh, more honed in on those genres versus just kind of a range of topics for junior or senior year. It's a junior, both are junior senior mixed classes um, and they can fulfill uh, an English credit or an elective credit. So if you're like super duper excited, you can take an English class and one of these two classes. Absolutely, in film studies, Shakespeare and film studies operate the same way. So one semester is Shakespeare, the other semester is film. Uh, and I treat that more as a survey. So we experience many, many, many Shakespeare plays along with some of the contemporaries that we're writing at the time. Uh, and then for film studies, we investigate, interrogate, look at all film, same way that we do with Shakespeare, but then we also have a lot of hands-on projects as well. So we build our own film, we do make them. Uh, we even dabble with stop motion as well. Um, so if you're interested, it's completely different than the rest of the classes, especially for myth and sci-fi, because they do build on each other as well. Um, I highly encourage you to take them. Yep, and we do a lot of fun things. So mythology, we're exploring not just Greek mythology, we touch on Roman, Norse, um, different tribes, mythologies kind of starting from like their creation stories to um, things that apply to our, our daily lives today. And science fiction, you can't have science fiction without watching some science fiction movies and films and studying the elements of science fiction in there. So if you want to have some fun, join one of our two classes next year. Look forward to seeing you there. Bye. Hey, this is Mrs. Laverty. I'm here to talk to you about Earth Science. Earth Science is a class you can take um, as your second or third year science. And there is also an honors version, which Ms. Sawyer teaches. Earth Science is really your tour around the world, around the Earth, actually. You get to study about rocks and minerals, weather, climate, oceans, plate tectonics, which is earthquakes, mountain building, volcanoes. We study geologic time, and we even go into space. It's a really fast moving course. You learn a lot of things that when you walk outside, you'll know the difference between weather and climate. You'll be able to tell the types of clouds. When you look around you in Nevada, you're gonna be able to find all kinds of different geologic features and name them, things you didn't even know about that are here every day. We are so lucky to live in a place that has so much amazing geology, rock formations, 
wonderful climate, weather, clouds, all this great stuff. So sign up for Usaya. I hope to see you next year in Energy Technologies, or the best class you've never heard of with the worst name. So if you're a student who really loves science or a student who's thinking about doing engineering as a future career, um, somebody who wants to learn more about renewable energy, needs an elective credit, or is interested in earning all of these college credits while still in high school, you should consider taking Energy Technologies. So what do you do in there? Well, we learn all about why we need energy. So we explore electricity, we play with electromagnets and batteries, we experiment with generators. Uh, we also learn all about the ways that we generate electricity from non-renewables to renewables, from hydro to geothermal, biofuels and nuclear. We learn all about how these things work by designing wind turbines and hydroelectric water wheels, even playing with solar panels. But what you really wanna know is, what do you really do in energy technologies? One thing I love about Energy Tech is if you join, you get to do all the fun hands-on projects and collaborate as a group together to finish assignments. Energy Technologies is a really fun class. Um, we do a lot of hands-on projects and the future is really great. Um, I'd highly recommend taking this class. It's really fun and you guys will learn a lot. So the reason I would recommend Energy Tech is because it opens up a lot of CT opportunities and overall just enriches your look on the world and how things are constructed, built, and how energy is produced in the United States. Hello, my name is Luis Samudio. Uh, I have taken Energy Technologies for three years and I would recommend this class because you get to do a lot of different things that you wouldn't be able to do in regular classrooms and you learn uh, new skills as well. Hey Raiders, I'm Dawson Deal. I'm currently a graduating senior and I'm here to talk to you about why you should take AP Economics next year. AP Economics is a really unique course. Not many high schools in our area offer this class, but I was lucky enough to take AP Econ my junior year. This course is taught by one of our history teachers, Ms. Cornier, and can be taken as an elective during your junior or senior year. I highly recommend you take it as a junior since you'll be able to earn that AP credit and college credit without having to make your senior year any busier than it already will be. In AP Economics, you'll cover a huge range of topics. The course is broken up to AP Microeconomics in your first semester and AP Macroeconomics in your second semester. So that means there are two AP tests and two AP credits on your transcript. Most people think of money and the stock market when they think of economics, but there is much more to it. Economics is purely just the study of how people make decisions when they interact with value and the aspects that shape those behaviors and interactions. Throughout this course, you will learn about the key principles that shape our economy, the laws of supply and demand, the impacts of price ceilings and price floors, you'll learn about the GDP, the causes and effects of nationwide unemployment, and the types of unemployment. You'll discover the impacts of government intervention within our economy, and how fiscal and monetary policy can change the effects of economic inflation, stagflation, and deflation. You'll study market elasticity, the laws of diminishing returns, and how to create charts that show a market's marginal profit, revenue, and costs. Have you heard of a monopoly? You'll learn about the four different market models, pure competition, pure monopoly, monopolistic competition, and oligopoly, along with the differing characteristics of each. Overall, this course is fast moving and rigorous, but I truly believe it can be beneficial to anyone. By understanding how our economy functions and each aspect that plays a role in shaping it, you'll have a new view on everything you do, even the things that don't involve money, like the thousands of decisions you make in a day-to-day -day basis that require cost-benefit analysis. That's economics. If you have any interest in studying business beyond high school, I strongly suggest you take this course. I'll leave you with one of my favorite quotes from American economist Thomas Sowell. The first lesson of economics is scarcity. There is never enough of anything to fully satisfy those who want it. The first lesson of politics is to disregard the first lesson of economics. Thank you for your time. Hi Raiders, this is Mrs. Eichstead. Come join our Studies in Ethnicity, Diversity, and Social Justice class next year. This class was pushed by Reed students because we want to see cultural representation in our education. This class will have women's studies, LGBTQ, diversity, and social activism components throughout the year. However, if any subjects that you wanted to learn were not covered throughout the year, you can make a suggestion to your teacher or do it as an individual project. This class will be offered for upcoming juniors and seniors and will be offered as an honors class. We really hope you enjoyed this class because we as students that pushed the class have put so much effort and work into it. So see you next year, readers. Hi, welcome to the Performing Arts here at Reed High School. We offer choir, band, orchestra, and theater. I'm Mr. Eichstead, the band teacher here at Reed. I teach the concert bands, jazz bands, marching band, indoor program, and percussion class. Our choir teacher is Ms. Mallory Engstrom, who teaches concert choir, prima, visions, intermezzo, and vocal ensemble. 
Our orchestra teacher is Mr. Jeff Lindhorst, who teaches concert orchestra, symphonia orchestra, chamber orchestra, advanced instrumental techniques, and our two ukulele classes. If you're currently not in the performing arts, but want to give it a try again, we encourage you to try it. We have a wonderful program for choir, band, orchestra, and theater, and there's a class for everybody, from beginners to intermediate to advanced. We hope to see you soon participating in our performing arts program. We look forward to seeing you in the fall. Hey there, didn't see you there. Are you tired of your current elective? I have an idea, just join theater, where you have the opportunity to become a famous actor, produce Tony Award winning shows, or build sets, and blind people with lights, or bring beautiful music to a play. Hey there, readers, this is Mr. Bowner, your friendly neighborhood drawing teacher, coming at you with a little bit of the offerings that we have here in the Fine Arts Department. Oh, beyond bubbles, I'm the drawing teacher. So if you like drawing and you want to take four years of drawing, you'll get to put up with me for all four years. Uh, so that would be drawing one through eight. Our advanced classes get a little bit more hard, a uh, little more independent, and we have a good time in there. For our ceramics, Mrs. Donahue is our ceramics teacher. And again, if you really like 3D, you like to work with clay, she would be your teacher for all four years should you choose to do that. So she teaches ceramics one through eight. She is also our AP studio art teacher. So for those of you that think you might wanna go on and do art in college or as a career, those would be awesome classes for you to work up towards for your junior and senior year, and then you can move on from there. Beyond that, we like to have fun. The other thing that I'm uh, in charge of is our Murals or Makers Club. So I'm standing in front of one of the murals that, have, that Reed has here in the school. We are responsible for all murals that get painted in the school at this point. We've got some projects that we do in teachers' classrooms, others that we do in the hallways. Of course, they always have to be approved, but it's a great way to showcase your artwork to everybody in the school and not just us down here in the Fine Arts Department. So for those of you that are art nerds like me, can't wait to see you in class. opportunity opens itself to everyone. It's up to us to walk through.
You're learning leadership. You're learning how to build your character. You're getting confidence. It's given me a way to actually go to college. We're wearing a uniform and we stand for something bigger than us. Camaraderie is the best thing you get out of this program. I've lost weight from doing PT. It gives you the skill set for the rest of your life. It has helped me develop who I am. It develops character, it develops integrity, it develops discipline. You learn a lot about yourself, about what you want to do with your life, about how you should act in life. You have to delegate, you have to use people skills, and all of that is needed when you go into the workforce. Community service, the importance of, of giving back what you have. We've been like best friends ever since ninth grade, so they're like my family now. This basically is my home, my home away from home. I'm a leader, I'm already a leader. Um, the NJROTC program makes you that. AP Computer Science and in this class you can use your creativity to make apps to do many things as you can make an app where it's like a little cookie clicker game or you can make an app that helps you learn stuff. It's really it's really fun to make and you can use your and it's you have freedom of choice you can make whatever like you want. Uh, you can get a college credit by doing the class it's totally worth it because it's it's not very hard. It's uh, pretty easy. Uh, yeah, this class is great because in what out in the world, computer science jobs are becoming huge, and it's important that you know how to do computer science. And doing computer science in AP class, especially, I think is really good for you. AP computer science is a good class, whether you know any coding or not. Whether you've never done any coding, it's still something you can easily learn. Overall, it's a really fun class, and. I think you guys should take it. I recommend you take it, yes. All right. One reason I took AP Physics was my dad, he really enjoyed physics, so he recommended it to me. And my favorite part about it so far is that like, you can really incorporate it into the real world. Like, There's a ton of stuff that is in there, and you're like, oh, I see that every day. And yeah, that's one of my reasons. Yeah, and my reason was I'm interested in like being in, an engineer and like in the medical field, so um, for college, it's good to have that credit. Um, I'm also, I also was really interested in like, you know, this kind of how things work, and you definitely can notice like things in the real world. I'm like, oh, I know how to, that works. And so, um, yeah, that was. It's definitely hard um, if you want to take it. It's definitely a lot of work, but yeah. um, once you can understand it, it's pretty cool. And it's a challenge for sure, but with hard work and time management, it's fine. We're on motor students at Reed, and this is a fun class because it brings working experiences on cars. It brings real life job scenarios to the classroom. It gets you an ASU certification and accessibility to trade schools, and that's why we joined Automotive. Hello, I'm Viviana Barboza, and I'm Sierra Madden, and we are part of the Biomedical Enterprise Academy. I joined the Biomed Academy because it allowed me the opportunity to earn 12 college credits, and I thought it'd be a lot of fun. I joined the Biomedical Enterprise Academy because I want to pursue a career in the medical field as an emergency room physician and joining this program has really allowed me to build a foundation and a basis in my knowledge for biomedical processes and expand my horizons in the field of STEM. We hope you join the Biomed Academy. Hi, we're Human Development students and I'm in Human Development Advanced Studies. And I'm in Human Development too. I took Human Development to prepare me for a career in Human Services. And I took Human Development to learn about essential life skills. And we hope that you take Human Development because we recommend it. Hey juniors, it's Mr. Towell here, room 130 in Yellow Hall. I teach We the People. It's one of your government class options for next year. I just want to encourage you to consider it if you want a really unique extracurricular experience with the government class next year. You'd be joining a team. We work together really hard at being able to present really well. All of our assessments aren't traditional quizzes and tests, but performance assessments, which means presentations in a group. So it's a lot of public speaking and working as a team, and we have some competitions with other schools, and it's a really unique relationship building, life skills building experience that I encourage you to consider and come to my room 130 and ask me about it if you're interested. I'm hoping to see some of you on the roster, and we'll have an awesome year next year.
You should join Read the People. It's really fun because you get to hang out with a lot of people and you get to, to make a lot of friends. You should join We the People if you're ready to work really hard, like really hard, and make friends. There are so many reasons why you should join We the People. Number one, Mr. Nutters. Number two, you meet a lot of people. Number three, you learn stuff. Number four, Mr. Towel. Number five, do you like food? Go for it. Number six, Thor, you won't understand until you join. So, yeah. I love being part of the We the People team. It doesn't mean you have to be part of a sports team. You can be a part of the team in other ways, uh, such as with We the People. Honestly, just going together in our groups and our units, it makes it uh, really fun. It's a really different class from other classes. You get to talk about politics and just be passionate and every opinion is valid here. So it's something different about a government class, which is a really good class. Hello, I'm Mr. Spiker and I am teaching a new course here at Reed called Advanced Computer Science. Um, it is an honors course that will do a deep dive into the computer language of Python, uh, where we'll learn how to create models of the world, manipulate big data, control robots, um, maybe start a little bit of artificial intelligence. Um, so it should be a really, really fun, fun course. It's also the first course in a sequence that we're teaching. The next course will dig deeper into robotics and into the fundamentals of machine learning and artificial intelligence. And then the third course in the same sequence will actually be working with um, building our own self-driving vehicles. So um, this could be a really, really fun uh, course and sequence for you to get involved in at the ground floor. And uh, I look forward to, ha to having you as students next year because I think it's going to be a lot of fun. Um, so remember, it's, uh, it's Advanced Computer Science. Uh, course number is 10665 and 10666. Thank you very much. The theater department. In theater, you learn many useful things such as how to talk in front of people, how to interact with other people, and how to use improv when you're talking to people. Theater can help you inside and outside. You learn how to talk to people using improv. You use how to talk to people in front of people as in social skills. And you'll just learn a lot of different things about yourself. It really helps to like stand in front of just a whole audience of people and just talk because it helps with public speaking as well. You learn about the basics of theater and the new things of theater. You learn the history and new actors and old actors. Yeah. And now,